you'll notice there are three apertures. They have different purposes. But this aperture here, first of all, is all about searching for the target in the wider space. So you can think about this as being a set of binoculars looking at a large area, looking to find the target. Having found the target, where they can then move to this middle aperture, and this middle aperture then allows to look at that target in more detail, getting more information about the target to see what kind of aspect that target is and whether we've got a threat or not. We then can continue to zoom in, and you can see this element over here on the beam director. This is the telescope, so very much bigger. And this is the element where we can really narrow in on that particular target and identify that target as uh, a threat or not. This is very much like looking, like a teles uh, looking at a telescope, so it's very much a very, very thin, thin view, and it gives you ultra precision on that target. So this is like the key part for identifying that target and seeing, deciding whether or not it is indeed a threat and needs to be dealt with. We then come back to the interesting bit. Quite often it gets confused that this is where the laser energy comes from. It is not this, this part. We come back to this window, which as well as uh, the middle range viewing, it is also where the high energy comes out. And this is where your kilowatts of beam come out. There's all the talk about the one pound coin. So that beam of light forming a one pound coin at distance on a hillside, take that as an example, is all formed up from here. And the clever, um, the clever optics and the clever um, um, uh, moving mirrors we use in here to focus that beam and stabilize that beam, they all come out of here and they're focused in that one pound coin at that distance. And that allows us to precisely target the part of the drone to quickly defeat that drone and move on to the next drone. And that's how we cope with these asymmetric threats, you know, these swarm of drones that we're we're uh, looking to counter. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.